can welcome everyone to the eighth meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. First item of business is consideration of SSIs laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. Uh, so we're looking at these in terms of the SSI protocol and we're considering the scrutiny procedure under which they've been laid and the categorisation applied by the Scottish Government. So the following instruments have all been laid under the negative procedure and have been categorised by the Government as of low significance. These are SSIs 2019, 59, 60, 69, 71 and 73. And in each case, our advisors indicate that the scrutiny procedure and the categorisation could be appropriate. Um, so is the committee content uh, with uh, the scrutiny procedure and the categorisation? Okay. Next item is consideration of an instrument subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our advisers on the draft services of lawyers and lawyers practice EU exit Scotland amendment, uh, etc. Regulations 2019. Is the committee content with this instrument? Okay. Uh, agenda item three is instrument subject to negative procedure. Uh, the first one is the Non-Domestic Rating Valuation of Utility Scotland Amendment Order SSI 2019-45. The instrument contain, contains a drafting error in Article 6 relating to a company name. The Scottish Government accepts that names must be consistent with their en entries in Companies House. Full date details can be found in our correspondence with the Government, which is included in our published papers. The Government has now laid an amending instrument to correct this error. So does the Committee wish to draw the order to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as it contains a drafting error in Article 6? Agreed. Okay. And does the Committee wish to welcome the Government's prompt response to rectifying this drafting error? Agreed. Right. And the next instrument is the Felling Scotland Regulations SSI 2019-49. Uh, this is the first of three instruments being considered today in relation to the Forestry and Land Management Act, which was passed last year by the Parliament. The instrument con contains drafting errors relating to the way certain paragraphs have been presented. Members will have seen from the Scottish Government's correspondence in the published papers that it has thanked the Committee for drawing this to its attention and will correct this at the earliest opportunity. So does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground due to drafting errors in paragraphs 1 and 2 of Regulation 4? Okay. And does the committee wish to welcome the Scottish Government's proposal to correct the errors by amending instrument at the earliest opportunity? Right. Uh, next, I, next instrument to consider is the Scotland Act 1998 Specification of Functions and Transfer of Property, etc. Order SI 2019183. Uh, the order also relates to forestry regulation under the recently passed Act. It contains an error relating to defective drafting. There's an er erroneous reference in Article 3 of the order to a section in the 2019 Climate Change Act concerning duties of public bodies. And again, the detail can be found in our published papers. Does the committee wish to draw the audit to the attention of Parliament on reporting ground I, as there appears to be defective drafting in paragraph 2C of Article 3? Thank you. Does the committee wish to accept the Scottish Government's assurance that there is no intention for this provision to be acted upon and to accept the Government's proposal to correct the error at the earliest opportunity. Okay. Next instrument to consider is the National Health Service Superannuation and Pension Schemes Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Regulations SSI 2019-46. Our legal advisers have not identified any errors in this instrument. Uh, however, there remains an outstanding commitment by the Government to rectify an error in SSI 2000. Uh, and 1727, which amends one of the same instruments as this instrument when it was considered by the committee in 2017. 
the Scottish Government has highlighted in correspondence, which can be read in Paper 3, that a planned instrument to correct this error has been paused following a recent decision in the English courts. However, given that the error was identified by the committee as defective drafting, which related to provisions that should have been made retrospective, the committee may wish to encourage the Scottish Government to rectify the error as soon as possible. So does the committee agree to encourage the Scottish Government to rectify the error in SSI 2017-27 as soon as possible? Okay. Uh, there are further seven instruments on our agenda laid under the negative procedure, and our legal advisers have not raised uh, any points on any of them. The instruments are SSIs 2019, 52, 54, 56, 60, 64, 68, and 69. Is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. And the final item of business is consideration of an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. SSI 2019-47 is the third instrument on, on our agenda today relating to forestry regulation under the 2018 Act. There's a drafting error in this instrument relating to references that should have been footnotes. Again, members will have seen from the Scottish Government's correspondence in the published papers that it's thanked the committee for drawing this to its attention and will correct this at the earliest opportunity. So does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground for drafting errors in paragraphs 2A and 2B of Regulation 19 and paragraphs 2A and 3 of Regulation 20? And does the committee wish to welcome the Scottish Government's undertaking to correct the errors by amending regulations at the earliest possible opportunity? Thank you. Thank you. And I will close the meeting.